So, hello guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Eric Iceborough Fishing. So today I just want to talk about some few tips about summer bass fishing that I found helpful. And my recent visit was at Castaic Lake and we came back with 12 striped bass, so this will work. It's, gonna, it's not going to be too long, but let's get started. First tip I'd like to say is you should use about a 12 pound line. Nothing more, I don't think. For striped bass, you need, well, unless you're going uh, deep sea fishing, unless uh, I'm talking about freshwater right now. So, if you're going for freshwater, I would recommend about 12 pound. It doesn't matter what brand you use, so just for example, uh, here you can see a 12 pound test. Let me focus it uh, 400 yards. There's nothing in this. Um, so, the weights if you're going lake fishing. I would recommend either this is fine, it's my poem, this is fine, as long as this is fine as well. So not a big difference. So they, they'll both work fine. Um, for baits, as I said for lake bass fishing, your top choices will be bloodworms, B-L-O-D-D-W-O-R-M-S, if you don't know, I'll Write it again after the video on a quick thing link, or I'm not. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bloodworms or lugworms, L U G W O R M S. Lugworms, kind of sound the same, but I'll I'll write it. Don't worry. And then that's basically it. If you're going lake fishing, and give me a second. So I have my tackle box here. Another bait that will work fine with bass is. This right here is the, um, the Spro swim bait. Perfect for striped bass as well as large largemouth bass. Not sure about smallmouth, but largemouth and striped bass. This is perfect. I have caught fish with this at Castaic Lake. Um, I mean, it's one of the best lures you could possibly find. To be natural, look natural, and actually work. No, it's not like a bullshit one. So, it could look good, like it, good look at it. So it is. It's really good. Works a lot. And then, if you're going boiling, which right now is the best time to do, my second option would be the bait. First option would be boiling, and one of your best lures would be this right here. If you're going by, if you're going boiling. Then this is perfect for you. Um, I would actually recommend the gold color. It doesn't really matter, but you'll have a big, bigger chance with the gold color. I um, I lost my gold one. It got stuck in the rocks, but um, I haven't boiled. I didn't boil last time, but a few weeks ago I did boil and about six, 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 six of them. I caught six with the gold one. Um, I haven't tried a silver one, but I, I heard the same thing. It really didn't matter. And for hooks, last time I was using this, these hooks, and I didn't lose any fish, so... Size 4. Size 4. Check it out. For a striped bass and largemouth. But... I've never caught a largemouth on bait, live bait, so I don't know. It's usually lures. So it's the same company again, Danielson. Here we go. Danielson. Best. And then that's the first option. And then there's another place I really recommend going for this for the summer is the California Aqueduct. And there's a lot of them. I'm talking about there's two areas that I really like. Is one in there's one in Mar Maricopa, California. It's near Kern, Kern County, and another one in Taft, California. So, um, the baits you would like to use there is chicken liver or sardines. Chicken liver or sardines, but chicken liver works better. The weights you would use, I recommend right now is here. If you're going, um, well, actually. If you're going in the winter, then you would use this right here. Three pounds. I mean, my bad, not three pounds, three ounces. Uh, 
weights. But I think this, not this one, but this would be just as fine. But I like to use a different technique there when I go. I don't like to cast it and leave it. So I like to cast it about, let's say about 10 feet. And then I walk with it. So I don't, um, I'm talking about a weight, just a, maybe this is actually pretty fine. But just a little smaller than this. You cast it about 10 feet, 15 feet in the water. And then, because you know, the current takes it. You want to walk with it. And it, I think it's better. I mean... It's more successful and it's not less boring. So, I don't know, just a suggestion. But, other than that, I think that's it. It's all you need to be successful in this summer's. Um, that's what I've noticed every summer, actually. But, just a quick few tips on helping you guys successful in bass fishing. And I think that's it. Um, lures. Um, there's another one. It's not bad for a largemouth, actually. Caught a few, but not as much as you know this one. This one is crazy, 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 and keep going. This is um this this should work for boiling boiling too, but this one looks better. And uh, quick one for largemouth. Okay, I don't want to hold it. Right, there you go. So see, it's been used a lot. It's really good for largemouth, but this this I recommend a pond, not a lake. So. Um, other than that, I think, yeah, that's about it. So, thank you. Uh, hope you like it. Leave a, if you like it, leave a like below, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for pushing. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.